Are uh, Mr. Comins and Mr. Elliott here yet? Yes? Ah, okay. Ah, excellent. I want to thank Paul Dastard for showing them the shortcut from the um, Sunrise Sunset Room. Otherwise, they would have been here an hour and a half from now. Um, we have a, a special treat for you right now, as mentioned in the program. Um, I'm sure many of you remember Rosie McCart, who I mentioned a moment ago. Clarinetist, saxophonist, arranger, band leader, and vocalist, whose career spanned eight decades, and uh, who lived and performed right here in Southern California from the early 1940s through the end of the 1990s. He was adored by his friends and his fans, and his colleagues, and his fame reached monumental proportions as he continued to perform well into his 90s. On April 8, 1952, Rosie made a series of recordings for the Jump record label, which he considered his magnum opus. Uh, I wish he reissued all of them 12 years ago uh, on a CD, which we have over there. And uh, all the musicians, unfortunately, had passed on by that time. But I researched them all, and I spoke with everyone who was still in, living at the time, who, who knew them, and uh, I did all the research I could. And um, the only participant on that session that I could find absolutely nothing out about was uh, the vocalist on one of the selections, whose name was Rink Leslie. Rink Leslie. I spent months, months researching, going on, on the internet, speaking to people, and really, I had to finally give up. Well, two years ago, I found her. Well. Actually, her son found me, and, uh, and she's here this evening uh, with her family who have flown in from, uh, from near Santa Cruz and from Hawaii because uh, tonight, 63 years later, she's going to recreate her vocal with Rosie's band on a cute little novelty tune called Don't Bring Me Posies, It's Shoesies That I Need. <laughs> I've recruited two members of the Titanic Jazz Band, Dan Comins and Keith Elliott, both of whom knew Rosie. Keith, in fact, played in Rosie's band for, I guess, about 20 years. And we're going to play Rosie's original arrangement, which he wrote for her in 1952. Before I bring her up, I'd just like to play you a little snippet from the 1952 recording of Don't Bring Me Posies, Mike.
He's only happy because I'm the only one who hasn't died yet. Anybody ready? One, two, I want two, two.
It has been quite around 1952. So please check out the CP table and sign up on our mailing list. Thank you all very much. I am track number 13. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by that. Thank <laughs> you.